have a shot at the magazine. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, it is. That is great. And I appreciate what you're doing, but you copy. It's unimpressive. A lot of typing, not much writing. Eric has been treated like a star because everybody knows he has the gift of prose. He has the gift of, uh, he, if he would apply his intelligence in the correct way, he could be great. And everybody sees this potential. I forget your pieces while I'm reading. I know you can do a lot better. Oh, Jesus! Most boxers either become trainers or cornermen or hangers on at gyms, and you don't have a lot of roots in that. And uh, unless you did reach the upper echelon of whatever that you know, particular thing is, and in that particular world, you don't have a lot of financial security. Uh, so it's easy to see how he can find himself in that particular place. Oh man, are you okay? It's fun to beat the champ. You say you're the champ? What are you talking about? Battling Bob Satterfield. Number three in the world. There's this boxer. He's living on the streets. Boom! No, I ain't no bum. I I'm just homeless. What's his name? Battling Bob Satterfield. I'm sure my dad used to idolize that guy. As a, a sort of symbiotic relationship going on there. Uh, he needs a story, and my character kind of need some money <laughs> every now and then and uh, that evolves into an interesting kind of conversation between the two of them about you know who they are and where their sons are and what their relationship not their relationship to their father but Josh's relationship to his father and his relationship to his young son and my character's relationship to his son and the, or non-relationship you ask your questions I ask Nice piece on this guy. Kernan. You are on your way to a Pulitzer, Eric. I am Eric Kernan. Cool. You pretty proud of me? Real proud. So your dad, he ain't perfect. And one day, he's gonna get his shot. This is Eric Kernan. You write that article. I just saw him last night. Are you sure about that? What the picture is about is it's of course about telling the truth. And under that, it's about another kind of truth, which is letting who you really are be wherever you are. If you're with your kid, if you're with your boss, if you're typing the keys on a computer and you're writing something, that you don't disconnect from who you are. You keep a secret mind. Can you? From Chicago! There's going to be an internal review. We're going to want to talk to your wife. You let me down, and you let everyone else who works on this paper down. A very good man and a good father. I'm responsible. There's no going back. The true meaning of the story is that unless Eric truly submerges himself into the real issue of his own relationship with his father, chasing after this huge icon and watching his own life crumble, and realizing that his father was truly a completely different person and that he is not trapped in a cycle, that his legacy is up to him. A story about fathers and sons and how your desire to make your son think you're a hero can destroy you. He's still chasing that, you know, that, that brass ring that will hopefully you know, make the name Kernan more about him than his father. Well, I hope that one day, God willing, your son does for you what you just done for me. A writer, like a boxer, must stand alone. The truth is revealed, and there's nowhere to hide.